You know, COVID-19 is a really interesting societal pressure. It's transformed uh, everything, life all around the world. And I think it's um, created some pressures that have made clinical research much more challenging and also accelerated the development of innovations in clinical research to get around some of those challenges. Um, it certainly has created a staffing crisis like we uh, discussed before. Um, but with the lockdown, um, it created uh, barriers to people coming together in person. So I think uh, some approaches for meeting the patients where they are were implemented. We're using more telemedicine now. Um, we took uh, strategies to, uh, at least for oral drugs, ship the drug to patients at their home or in their community um, to minimize travel to a central site. Um, so I think we can take some of the lessons of COVID um, forward in terms of lessons from COVID that could potentially impact the staffing crisis. You know, many uh, employees now are very attracted to the idea of at least uh, some remote work. So being flexible with how the work is uh, done, I think, um, will uh, position employers more strongly to be able to attract and retain staff. Um, part of the challenge with the staffing issues, uh, as people have kind of redistributed to some degree, is academic medical centers have lost their staff to clinical research organizations and to pharma. Um, so there's a salary structure inequity there. So if we can address some of that in academia and provide really a, a better defined professional pathway for entry-level clinical research staff, I think that will help the staffing issue. That's sort of less COVID-related other than the, the shift in, um, in staffing precipitated by the pandemic.